Interesting. Interesting. So I'll have to look that up. Some of the evidence can be used in the investigation will be marked with specific icons. We need to find Miss White. I'm just having a look if there's anything around here. No? Okay. And we're out again. A fire. There is a smell of burning. Yes, I know. That's why I went over that way. Fireplace, yes, broken pot. The symbol is not from Q Gardens. Another symbol. A protective mask. Uh, poisonous thingies. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Poisonous plants, I'm guessing. The remains of a picture frame. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? Because it's the, the broken door one. The to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. Gasp. It's almost like it's a coincidence. The set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. A broom handle was half burned. Right, okay. A lot of random bits of evidence. Right. Anything in the bin? You wouldn't have any evidence in the bin. You'd all throw it on the fire. Ah! There's Miss White. Look, Holmes. This charming lady must be Miss White. She's entering the seed house. Yes. Map. Colonial collection is there. Colonial collection. You're here, so we want to go into this room. House. And then there's director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Yes, right. Ventilation system. <laughs> this is the seed house. I'm not too intrigued by the ventilation system yet, though it may become Open. relevant. Says Sammy. You must be Miss White. Good day to you, Miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Oh, why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honoured to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Right, uh, let's... Cameo? Ooh. Expensive perfume. Is it floral? Ooh. Poor family. Not with her accent, love. <laughs> Not with her accent. I'll tell you that for sure. Oh. So she's putting it on, is she? Can I belt, maybe? Eyes. There's got to be another one somewhere. It's like the cameo or the buttons or something. Buttons? Dress. Hmm. There's one more thing. So she's got expensive perfume, but she seems to be from a. Oh. Uh, this jacket. I don't know, maybe? No, no. Bad game. Don't try and tell me to skip things. Oh. Unmarried. Interesting. Oh. So it might be that she's stolen the plants. I don't know. But that's just, that would be a separate issue to the murder. She may have stolen the plants to sell them to try and fund her new, kind of newish lifestyle. She's got expensive perfume. Perf, perfume? Yes. Perfume, but she's from a poorer family. Right, what? Yeah, I'm here to investigate the theft of the plants. Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. 
I quite forgot about that. What do you recall of the time? Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants. All right. After the tragedy that took place here. Yes. The director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. I have a sneaky suspicion you don't believe that. Uh, what was your relationship with the director? How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active and so optimistic and very nice to me. I'm sure. Although he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who was naturally shy, suffered because of it. Mm. Right, uh, so do you work here then? Yes. Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honour. Hmm. And how did you get in? Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. Could have locked the door. I mean, she has access to keys. Uh, assumably both the people who work here do. Like, uh, Albert and uh, Martin. Uh, Martin Hamish. They both ha assumably have keys. She now has a duplicate set. So, she, so any of the three could have locked the door. Uh, do you know why the Colonial Collection is mostly empty? Would you happen to know why part of the Colonial Collection was cleared? No. I have never been there. Thank you, miss. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the Colonial Collection was cleared. I can't so move the camera. Someone is lying. It is obvious. Yes, well done. Uh, let's move. Right. Do I not have new clues? Albert's ambition. No. Okay. For some reason he thinks he wants to... I don't know. Right. Hmm. From here, we are unable to see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room. Why is that relevant? University of London, Material Botanical Chemistry. Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. Anything else here? Gloves. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. This place serves as Albert's office. Hmm. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. Hmm. <sighs> well. Ventilation. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. <sighs> right. The gamer in me thinks that that's highly relevant. And I think that, oh, there's going to be a puzzle involving the ventilation system. But there's no reason for Holmes to do anything with the ventilation system. Uh, there's no clues that that's relevant. Yes, there's one in the colonial si the colonial uh, thing. I mean, the colonial co collection, there's a ventilation thing. But there's no reason to go fiddling with the ventilation we might actually... We'll have a look around, but we won't do any puzzly stuff. We'll just examine things, I think. Actually, this may end up starting a little... Uh, ooh, loads of pots. Actually, if I do anything, I don't really want to... A water tank. Yes. thing is, if I fiddle with this, it'll probably end up being a puzzle, so I don't really want to. Well, I fear it will be. Okay, let's have a look at it. The ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. And the colonial collection. Little fountain. 
Hmm. Right. We've examined that, and there's nothing really to ask about. So I think... Ooh. Oh, right. Margaret White. Miss Margaret White is a beautiful young lady who appears moderately wealthy. Nevertheless, her hands can be seen to be marked by tiny brown dots. These were caused by pellagra, a condition that emerges after a prolonged period of malnutrition. They reveal that her childhood was a poor and unhappy one. However, the signs of wealth that we see now clearly indicate a significant change in her life. So that would not necessarily long term, but certainly in the medium term. And we have these things to investigate, don't we? The various signs and symbols and whatnot. Don't we? Yes, and these plants. Search archives, search archives. Hmm. So we'll search for the search the archives for the symbols and for the list of plants. I wouldn't be surprised if those plants are poisonous. And they've been stolen in inverted commas to cover the tracks of whoever did this. Oop. Search for rare plants. So research. Um Right, so hemlock seeds, digitalis, no. Don't think it's in here, is it? It is just research. It, they're not going to be in newspapers, I don't think. Digitalis, no. Wikipedia. Medicine. Botany. Ah, Exotics Plants, Volume 4, Poisonous. These plants have a certain toxicity and common, more or less variable. Dionea carnivorous, Carlina enebriere, Florum diabolica, uh, Chromalena odorata, Prunus serotonin. Tina Heliamphorus tubis Biblis Genlicia Violacea Darlingtonia Krakaus cephaloto Cephalotus Only the first three can be dangerous to humans, particularly Florum diabolica, but only under very specific conditions. The plant should react to, pro to a process of aggression against which, which it will issue deadly spores. Here it is. Hmm. Yeah, so deadly plants. So deadly plants are stolen. The killers may ha may be those who stole the exotic plants, including the deadly species from the last exhibition at Kew Gardens. I'm always, I, I'm kind of getting annoyed now. That these seem to be really linear. Because um, I because they're really can't, they seem to be a bit linear, just with the kind of there's no real. Double, they're not many. I think I, I'd prefer it if there were more doubles. Um, Mocks and symbols. London Garden Supplies. That is not the one I need. Oh, uh, what? Symbol on a broken clavier. The symbol is not for Q1. The glyph means divine, if I'm not mistaken. Religious symbols, then? That is not the one I need. In case we're not doing research, then. Won't be in newspapers, then. Art and architecture. No! Oh dear, no. Now they're referencing The Awakened. Yeah, to solve this crime in Kugons, we're going to have to go to New Orleans. No! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, no, it won't be antique art, will it? Economic science, technology, history, medicine, botany. No. No, not medicine. Uh, technology, no economic sciences, art, and architecture, art, antique art. That is not the one I need. No, I didn't think it would be. Hmm. Are there anything interesting in here that it might be about? Let's do treasures stolen. And go. Okay. 
Brazil abolishes slavery, Naval Defense Act. He's got a yard. London Paris telephone system, picture of Dorian Gray. Because we're looking for. No, there's nothing there. I don't think. It, I think it is. It's got to be in research. Might be in poisons. Forensics. There is. Right, Mark. Oh, the Divine Syndicate. The Divine. Yep. Yeah, Scholastic Syndicate for Vegetation Veneration. The members of this syndicate worship Trewan, the God King. They strive to obtain spiritual peace and release themselves from the material world, so generous donations are appreciated. Interesting. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. And this pot, which will be in other symbols. London Garden Supplies. Seymour, Seymour's Garden. Garden equipment and supplies. We are a premium supplier for all your landscape, gardening and timber requirements. Full range, supply, and delivery of sand, soils, mulches, pots, and anything else you may need. 3 Blurton Road, London. I wonder if that's a real place. Right. Trail on the God King. I'm sure we're going to have to visit whatever, wherever that is. Now, oh, we can't go there. Hmm. Okay, what? Do, uh, find out who killed. Yes. Ah, the staff buildings. So we'll go there. Maybe we can investigate their supplies and ask them about their supplies. I think that's probably an idea. And then we've got to find the plant that was used. So that's one of these three. Yes. The following three plants were proven deadly, uh, lethal to humans: Dionea carnivorous, Carlina inebriere, Florum diabolica. The realization of the toxic process is fairly difficult for requires particular chemical fertilizer, natural stimulation, and nutrition. The caterpillars should work. It was the caterpillars all along. It was. Let's go. Uh, before I say something immensely stupid. <laughs>